Hi everybody, this is the video you've been waiting for. It is finally here, the Hone Mirror Finish Kit, and we're gonna talk about it right now. I wanna thank all of my subscribers and new people to the channel, I really hope you do like these videos and you subscribe because this is what keeps me going and this is what keeps companies coming to me asking me to review products, to show new products. You'll see some of my videos that deal with things all around kitchen accessories and knife sharpening, which is of course my hobby. Now, this is the Hone Rolling Knife Sharpener New Mirror Polish or Mirror Finish Kit. Now, for those of you that know or don't know about the Hone Rolling Knife Sharpener, it is absolutely the best rolling knife sharpener on the market, in my opinion. There are others. I'm not gonna get into arguments in the comments. This is just my opinion, and I have tried almost every rolling sharpener out there, and I think this is number one for many reasons. If you look at my videos up here on the Hone Sharpener, you will see I have a lot of videos and tutorials on how to do just about everything under the sun on sharpening with the Hone Rolling Knife Sharpener. Now, I wanna have a disclaimer. I am not a knife expert. I am a knife and sharpening enthusiast. I do have a shop downstairs with a lot of different devices. I use power sharpening, I use hand sharpening, which goes from stones to rotary devices to belts, and the rolling knife sharpener, which I always have in my kitchen because it's great for a quick touch up or a great quick honing every time I use my knife. Now, when you sharpen a knife, there are various ways to finish off your edge. Now, this video is really designed for the everyday carry knife fans, people that love pocket knives or use pocket knives or have a knife they like that they cherish and display and wanna get that really sexy mirror finish. This is my CJRB everyday carry knife. Uh, I really like this thing. It is D2 steel and it has a really, really nice handle, very comfortable and it stays nice and sharp. But the one thing it doesn't have is a mirror finish here on the blade. And we'll go ahead and zoom in and show you that. And the one thing that I want you to know is the mirror finish is merely for beauty. Now, people might argue, oh, if you have a mirror finish, it makes it even sharper. And that's actually a little bit true. But if you want that sexy look, that reflecting on the knife, looking at it in the light, or it's on display, and as you move across, you see that beautiful mirror shine on the bottom, that is what the mirror finishing kit is for. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside the kit. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to put a mirror polish or a mirror finish on this everyday carry knife. I wanna thank all of my subscribers and new people to the channel. I really hope you do like these videos and you subscribe because this is what keeps me going and this is what keeps companies coming to me asking me to review products, to show new products. You'll see some of my videos that deal with things all around kitchen accessories and knife sharpening, which is of course my hobby. Now with all accessories that Home produces, most of them that are discs are in a container like this, which is really fantastic. You can store all your discs. I've got the mirror polish kit in here. Before I show you that, I will show you all my discs. Many of these come with the Pro Accessories kit, which is fantastic. And so in here I have some extra spares. I have another honing disc. I've got a 700 right here, a number one. We've got the 200, really coarse grit and the number two and the 2000, which is the new grit that came out. And we'll go ahead and uh, show you that right there. That's the 2000 grit. This is actually my new favorite grit on the hone sharpening system because with a 2000 grit, I can hit all my knives and keep them razor sharp. I usually just hone them, sometimes leather strop. And if they're getting a little bit dull, I don't have to do anything but the 2000 and that's it. 2000 ceramic for a really sharp knife keeps it super sharp indefinitely. And if you keep doing it and using the knife and you don't sharpen it often, you can always drop down to the 1000 or even to the 700 if you get a knife that's not in great shape. So here we go. Here is the mirror polish kit that you guys have been waiting for. And it is comprised of two discs. Of course, these are magnetic, one for each side. You've got a package of one micron grit, which is ultra, ultra fine. You have the three micron grit right here, and you have the five micron grit. Now, these grits are really important because we're talking really, really fine. You, you feel them, it just feels like 
smooth, as, just really super smooth, but they all have different grits. And you need that because once your edge is finished, you have it properly sharpened, you've got it honed, maybe hit it with your leather strop, you're now ready to get that mirror polish on that apex, which is just the edge of the knife. So we're talking about just this part right there on the edge. And my videos are not for knife experts, nor do they ever pretend to be. This is for the average person. You watching this today, just like me, the average knife user, sharpener, somebody who really wants to get into now, sharpening their own knives, not relying on other people to go take their knives to and uh, pay to have them done. And I think that this is really great for those people that want to go to the next level to get that polish on their edge. It's not necessary. So you can save the comments down below that it's useless, it's worthless. It's not. It has a lot of value. It does further sharpen the knife at the very, very edge. It's also good with micro bevels. And the most important thing is, is that you like the finish and you are really happy with that result. That is all that matters. Nothing else matters. So we're gonna go ahead and get this ready and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this polished. And again, this is not polished. And so we're gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna to try to bring this up close to you to take a look here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get it started. Here we go. So we've got our hone extender, which we're not gonna need. We've got our mirror finishing box and all of our goodies here. My goniometer, I actually wanted to double check and see what uh, angle this is on this knife. And so we'll go ahead and see this at 15 degrees, it's 15 degrees on the money. So this is my goniometer. If you're interested in purchasing one of these, you can actually contact me through a DM on Instagram, ukulele jbbq, or on Facebook Messenger, ukulele jbbq, and I'd be glad to talk to you about the goniometer. Uh, this is rechargeable, it's a laser, and it is the most accurate way to tell your angle on your knives, assuming that you know how to use it properly and the knife isn't so dull, because if it's that dull, you get a hard time casting that reflection and splitting that laser beam to show you the exact angle. But with that being said, I'm gonna now show you how we're gonna do this. So first thing is we've determined this is a 15 degree knife. If it wasn't 15 degrees, because some of you might ask, well, what if I have a knife that's not 15 or 20, which is the standard base of the hone, 15 and 20 degrees on each side, then you can use the angle mate. And these angle mates, there's two provided. They give you two degrees angle of deflection, either up or down. So based on that, you can then adjust just about any degree you want for any knife that you have uh, to get these things razor sharp. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on here. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the um, 15 degree side. 15 degree side, make sure that's down. We're gonna go ahead and start with the five micron. So there's a five micron, then we're gonna go to the three micron and we're gonna go to the one micron. These are five packs. So we'll go ahead and open up the first pack here and get that affixed onto our disc and uh, we'll call it the mirror polish disc. So here we go. On the back, we peel that off. And that's the part we're gonna take off and put on the disc. So we're gonna take this off. Okay. Here we go. I wanna make sure it's perfectly centered on the disc. What I do is I put my finger at the top here so it's flush and I slide this up against the finger and then it gets me a perfect centering every time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Put that down like so. And that's all you need. And we'll go ahead and fix it. And look at that, perfectly centered on the disc. Make sure you put it, push it down really well. You can put it on this side, which actually does work. So you can actually put a one and a five on each side and turn it over, which would be a little arduous to keep doing that. But it does stick on both sides, which is kind of cool. So you can get a whole pack of these things, probably get some extra discs and get a hole set up and use these. But we're gonna go ahead and put this on this side. Again, it is the red. Red is uh, for the uh, five micron. We've got a, uh, a purple, kind of purple color, and we've got the burgundy, so that we don't get confused on what's what. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this. And while we're doing that, we're gonna put this on as well. We're gonna go this down to the, the uh, three micron. Peel this off, peel this off. We're gonna slide this right up into the finger, put this on the disc, let it kind of just fall down in place. We're gonna go ahead and adhere it. And you can see now we've got a light pink, darker, two different types. And we can actually then take off our ceramic or whatever disc you have on this side. And we can put this on here like so. And now we've got the lighter, which is the five micron to the three micron. And eventually we'll go down to the one micron um, if we need to. So we're gonna go ahead and start this. Remember, this is the side for the smaller knives and the pocket knives 
elevate that. Take a look at my videos. We'll talk about all the features. This is a feature nobody else has. It is uh, patent pending and it is a great, great feature of the base sharpener. And that way we can go and put this knife on here like so. And now we can actually run this across. And remember there's that signature cutout that the hone has, that nobody else has on the base so that you don't rub that rubber as you're coming across the tip. So we're gonna go ahead and set this down. I'm gonna do this for a little while. Um, this isn't like sharpening and you can see it's actually, it is taking off some of the metal on there. Um, this isn't really like sharpening, right? I can't tell you it's gonna take 20, 30, 40, 50, 100. It could take 300 strokes to get it to a mirror. Most of the people that have other types of sharpeners take a while to get that mirror polish. It's an art, I consider it an art. It isn't something you just do and it happens. You gotta kinda really work with it, learn the different steels, what it's gonna take, and then of course your different grits. And certainly you can start with grits that are in higher microns, which people do, but the five, the three, the one, that's kinda the area you wanna be at when you're doing that mirror finish. So I'm gonna go and work on this for a little bit. And I'm gonna work on this on both sides. I'm gonna to stick to this five micron and then I'll show you when I switch over. And you can actually feel it, it's funny enough, you can feel, it's not really abrasion, like a roughness. Even on a knife that's perfectly sharpened, I can feel that it was a, you hear a little, a little bit of a, almost like a scraping feeling, just that that knife is getting polished right now and you're taking down any of those super, super micro abrasions on the apex of the knife. And uh, oh yeah, it's, it's looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and keep doing this. Okay, so now, we're gonna go ahead and clean this off real quick here. And the apex, it is definitely polishing up. And I can see that on both sides. We're gonna go from the light pink side to the darker burgundy side. And then we're gonna finish off with the one micron, which is the purple. Now people ask, how hard are you pressing? I'm not pressing at all. I'm sitting against the apex of the knife, the blade right there, the edge. And I'm just making sure it's up against it. And I just roll back and forth. You actually don't wanna put a lot of pressure. Actually, you wanna leave um, this just in contact with it, and that's actually gonna help you get that mirror polish. We're just trying to take out every single surface, uh, I guess blemish, if you will, or abrasion, or you know, striation from the sharpening and the honing, and get that thing just super, super smooth. That's what you get when you have a mirror finish. And unlike sharpening, you actually don't even have to go back and forth. You can actually go get a mirror polish on one side and do a five, three, and a one, and get that mirror polish, turn it over, and do a five, three, and a one, and polish the other side. So you don't have to flip back and forth. And you can see here, we got a lot of stuff off of this end, okay? This is the five micron, we went to a finer grit, three micron, and now look, it's not, not as much stuff on there, which I would expect, because you're not really taking off a whole lot of metal. Um, anything that's a grit is gonna actually remove metal, but this is much subtler, as you can see. So we're gonna do this side here. And I'd say, you know, you're probably gonna have to work on this probably a good maybe five minutes or so back and forth. Just don't worry about counting. But when it comes to the mirror, there's really no answer. It's gonna depend on, on how sharp your blade is, um, how honed it is, if you've leather stropped it, if you've used a compound on your leather strop, such as a 4,000, 8,000, 16,000 grit uh, compound, um, and you're up in the, you know, 15 micron, 10 micron, uh, that will make a difference on the time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean my knife again, and we're gonna go ahead and go to the one micron. And in this case, I'm gonna put the one micron on the back of the other disc because the magnets are so strong. It's just convenient. And I can keep everything, again, back in one container, and stack it up. And I know people are gonna ask, well, how long does this last? How many knives can you do? I don't know. I've only done this knife with this system. That you're seeing here to show you that there's no tricks, you know, no, uh, here you go. and come back afterwards, now it's all polished, you don't see the process. So we're gonna go to the one micron, but I'm gonna put this on the back. So I know that this is actually the five, so I prefer to put the one on the back and that way I have a three separately, so I don't get confused. Put it right to the edge of that disc. And firmly press the disc in place, perfectly centered disc. Now we'll go ahead and put this in here. And we have the nice one micron that we're gonna go on with now and see if we can get this to really pop out and get that, get that mirror polish on here. So we just finished up using our one micron grit disc and the results are pretty incredible. Check this out. This is the mirror finish and it's very hard to see in the sense of having a very large wide apex. 
because this knife has been sharpened with a micro bevel and I won't get into that, but it is really, really shiny. And it is a mirror finish because if you look here, you can see the letters are reflecting off of the knife from this wording. So it did a great job and I'm really happy with the results. Um, it's not something I'd probably do every day, but I do have some knives that are actually some really nice display knives that um, have an edge that's pretty close to mirror, but not quite. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those on here and we'll do a follow-up video, maybe some uh, YouTube shorts that show that incredible eagle head knife that I have. So take a look for the eagle head knife. Keep an eye out. That's gonna be coming up on the YouTube shorts pretty soon. And this, uh, this kit really does a good job. And it's very hard to see here, but you can see the reflection and it definitely is extremely polished on that edge and it did a really great job. So we have the five micron, we have the three micron, and we have the one micron. And if you wanna polish that apex, that edge of that knife, this will absolutely do the trick with the hone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Make your comments down below and we'll see you on the next one. Smoke on, baby.